Hey everyone, welcome to AJ Mathematics. Hope you all applied TCS NQT. The last date for the TCS NQT is 15th August. The link is in the description. If you haven't applied, please do apply now. I discussed TCS NQT's aptitude two parts. Then now it's time to discuss TCS NQT's reasoning. Now I come up with this. Without getting any delay, let's jump into the session. Let's start. In these questions, I may not be discussed about the basics because this is not the time to discuss the basics. Now this says A e plus B means A plus B means A is the sum of B, which represents that A is male and A is one generation below than B. That is A is the son of B and A star B means A is the brother of B, which means that A is male and A and B are in the same generation. Still, we don't know the gender of B. And A minus B means A is the sister of B, which means A is female and A and B are in the same generation, which means the same line and we don't know the gender of B. Now the question says, which of the following implies that P is the nephew of S? First, we need to know what does it mean by a nephew. Nephew means brother or sister's son. Now P is the nephew of S means P should be a male. Then only we can say that P can be a nephew of S. And nephew means one generation below. So something like that, we should get the diagram. Now let's take it. Where do we get this diagram? And when you go with option A, P minus Q means P is the sister of Q. Now, if you write P is the sister of Q like this and P is the female, so definitely this cannot be the answer because we are requiring P is a male and P star Q. P star Q means P is the brother of Q. Next Q minus R, which means Q is the sister of R and R plus S. R plus S means R is the son of S. By this diagram, what we can understand P, Q, R are the children's of S. So here nephew is not possible. So B cannot be the answer. And P star Q means P is the brother of Q. Q plus R means Q is the son of R. And R minus S means R is the sister of S. Now, if you observe this one here, we'll get P is the nephew of S because S sister is R. R's children is P and Q. So sister son is nephew. So hope I am clear. Let's solve the next question. Coming to this question, there are five teachers PQRST teach a group of students in a sequence that is 9 to 2 p.m. So 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Each teacher teaches for one hour, which means that 9 to 10, one teacher, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, 12 to 1 and 1 to 2. So these are the time periods and Q takes the first class, which means 9 to 10 Q take the class and S teaches after T. So if S teaches after T, so obviously maybe at the last position, but T should not be come here because there are no other teacher here. So T can be here or T can be somewhere else. We should go with this method. Yes, I can be eliminated. Next, R teaches immediately before T and after P, which means that the arrangement should become like this. R teaches immediately before T and after P. So if something coming like this, so we can write like this, which is P R T. So obviously the next place goes to S. And the question is who takes the second class from 10 to 11 AM? So 10 to 11 AM who takes the class? That is P. So answer for the question is P. It's all this question. Here, five friends A, B, C, D, E are sitting in a line facing north. Who is sitting exactly in the middle? So it's a seating arrangement question. But when you observe the points here, there are two statements given, which is one and two. And four options are also given like A, B, C, D. And A says if the question can be solved by using the first statement. And B says question can be solved by a second statement. C says answered with both and D says cannot be answered. So this is seating arrangement question, but this is not a problem solving question. It's a data sufficiency kind of a question. And one more important thing here, we are not going to find the answer for the question. We are just finding whether the data in the statements are sufficient or not. Okay, now let's solve this. 
and whenever you are solving a seating arrangement question or a direction question i suggest you to draw a diagram on the top right corner which shows north east south west and first let's come to the first statement c is sitting between a and b so a and b means that can be a c b or b c a i am talking about only the first statement e is at the fourth place to the left of b now if i am taking b here fourth to the left means and if anyone faces north you can imagine yourself there so of a north facing person and you are the same your left and north facing person left are the same so here all are facing north so your left will become their left so c is the first left of b a is the second left of b and here e is fourth left which means this is the third left and this is the fourth left so e comes here if e comes here automatically d comes here because only we have five places so this is the arrangement we get now the arrangement can be solved in a first statement who is sitting in the middle that is a is sitting in the middle so one statement is alone enough and by doing one statement don't decide the answer let's go with the second statement as well and we need to find out whether the second statement is sufficient to answer the question or not so e is sitting immediate left of d so this is the left side of d next c is sitting left of b so this is the left side of b but with there is no clarity about a position so two is alone not sufficient own one only one sufficient so with that we can get the answer as first statement alone so the statement the question can be solved using the first statement alone okay so option e is a for this question and this particular question comes under uh, logical deduction let's go with the venn diagram method some animals are plants so how do we draw a venn diagram method so this is animals some animals are plants so this is how you need to draw next no plant is a shrub so if no plant is a shrub this is one way of uh, drawing a diagram and other way of drawing a diagram will be this one we can also draw no pl plants are the shrubs like this and the first statement says some shrubs are plants so here uh, the no there is no relation between shrub and plant and here it says no plant is a shrub so obviously this is definitely not follows all animals are shrubs no definitely here we can maximum say that some animals are shrubs but here all animals are shrubs are given so definitely one two are not follows so both not follows is the answer for the question let's solve this question we need to find out the wrong term in the series whenever you see to find out a wrong in the series which means it's a odd man type of a question and we need to find out which is a different one out of five figures and here it is dealing with the alphabets i suggest you to go with the numbers because that will be more familiar so i am going with the numbers which is h letter number is 8 m letter number is 13 q letter number is 17 and j letter number is 10 o letter number is 15 s letter number is 19 and o t x which is 15 20 and 24 at t y c 20 25 and 4 and the last one will be 2 4 and 9 okay now don't find the relation between h m q t to t o s those are all different and belongs to one group okay see when you observe this one the relation between 8 and 13 is 5 now i'm just finding the relation between these two and 8 and 17 okay which is uh, the number 9 difference and 10 and 19 9 10 and 5 is 15 is 5 15 and 20 the difference is 5 15 and 20, 24 the difference is 9 20 and 4 okay which means that c we can write it as 4 or c we can write it as 29 as well how you c becomes 29 if z is 26 a is 27 and b is 28 c is 29 we can also write like this so c we can also consider 29 so 20 becomes 29 which means again 9 is added 20 becomes 25 which is 5 and 2 becomes 9 the difference is 7 Two becomes sorry. Two, this is six. Two becomes six. The difference is four.
except the last part which is bfi and the remaining all follow some particular pattern that is adding 9 we'll get the last digit and adding 5 we'll get the middle digit so answer for the question is bfi so hope i am clear we'll go with the next question let's solve this question how many rupees would shalini need to spend to buy 11 pencils and 14 pens okay so to answer this question the basic thing what we need to require we need to find out each pencil cost and each pen cost then we can easily find out the answer for the question but see here two statements are given and followed by four options and the four options says that if the question can be answered by using the first statement and b says the question can be answered by using the second statement c says question can be answered both statements together and d says cannot be answered using both the statements and be clear here it's not asking us to find out the pen cost and a pencil cost what we need to find out we need to find out whether the data is sufficient or not okay now i'll go with the first statement the first statement says shalini spent 201 rupees so she spent 201 rupees for buying 15 pencils so let's take it pencil as x and 12 pence that is till why you can take it any anything you can take it but here when you observe this one this one statement is not sufficient because here we have two unknown variables so if we have two unknown variables uh, according to the algebra we require two equations so one alone is not sufficient so a is eliminated and let's go with the second one uh, shalini spent 121 rupees to buy seven pencils and nine pens okay so two is alone not sufficient because here we have two unknown variables so b is eliminated and when you observe if you if these two statements are combined definitely we can get the answer for x and y which means we'll get the answer for p and p pencil cost and a pen's cost so you'll definitely get the answer for this and here it is not asking us to find out the answer so if you combine these two we'll get the answer so simply we'll go with c as the answer without knowing the answer for the question okay so what can be the answer for the question that is the cost for these two cases okay so without knowing that also we'll go with that c is the option let's solve this in each of five pairs of letters clusters the letter in the second term is arranged and transformed from the letters in the first term in a particular pattern so we need to find out a pattern very simple way which two pairs has a transformation in the same way okay now let's find out how this is written a m n o s which means m comes to the second place a comes to the first place and s o n something like this and we need to find out that what are the two options which follow the same pattern so this follows this pattern and let's go with this one okay so p comes to the second place a comes to the first place but but r is not not moving anywhere so r is in the same place so these two not belongs to a pair and f uh, a f t l u let's see f comes here a comes here u goes there t comes here and l okay so one and three follows the same pattern that's it and let's go with uh, lodge as well so d o l e g many of you got that out why didn't you try this that's why i'm trying and uh, d see d is in third place so this cannot be the answer and cargo a c g o r so a comes to the first place c comes to the second place okay but see this go is as it is so none of the two pairs are having the same pattern except one and three so answer for the question is one and a three hope i am clear with this uh, solutions we'll discuss more questions in the next video so thank you so much stay tuned bye bye